everyone. In case you haven't heard, I'm giving away one of my presets for free to all of my newsletter subscribers. So if you're interested in getting a free preset, check out the link below in the description box. Now presets can be a little tricky since they're really made to work best for people who created them and I use a Nikon D750 so it's going to work best on photos that are taken with a Nikon D750. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to work for brands like Canon or Lumix or even an iPhone. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can use my preset to edit photos taken by iPhone, Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Lumix. So hope you enjoy. I'm going to start with this iPhone photo from at one Carlos underscore PH. You can find him on Instagram. So overlay this photo with the preset. Already it looks really great. I'm just going to come to the side and adjust the orange saturation. Decrease it a little bit. Increase the yellow saturation so these flowers and the trees pop just a tiny bit more. Decrease the shadows and I'm done. So here's the before and after. This next photo was given to me by at Kiwi and Frog Travel. You could find them on Instagram. Here's the preset. Uh, I like it. It's just a little bit bright, so we're going to lower the exposure. The blue in the sky looks a little fake in my opinion, so I'm going to decrease the saturation so it's not so vibrant in the color. Uh, the oranges on these cliffs are a bit much, so decrease the saturation there. I'm also going to lower the luminance so the this sandy area in the cliffs pop a little bit more and that's it. This photo was taken in Iceland by the clumsy traveler on Instagram. Um, and when we put the preset over it, it is very very blue and the reason why that is is um, she was shooting an auto white balance and that's what happens sometimes. It just can be very blue. Uh, so what we're going to do initially is increase the temperature so it's a little bit warmer. The next step would be to lower the exposure since it's a tiny bit bright. Come down to the colors. Increase the yellows so the jacket and the grass area and cliffs show up a little bit more. Decrease the luminance come down to the blue, increase the hue so it's not as turquoise, up the saturation so the sky is um, a little bit more detailed. And at this point, if you like cooler images, that would be great, um, but I am going to also come down to split toning and decrease. Um, I had it um, on a blue hue and a saturation of, I think, um, 12, so I'm just going to lower that all the way and same with the shadows going to decrease that and we're done This next image was taken by a Canon So here's the preset over it already it looks pretty great I'm just going to lower the temperature a little bit so the blues pop out in the mural maybe increase the orange so my skin tone is more accurate and we're done this next image was taken in Cuba on my Nikon D750. However, instead of being in RAW, which is what I usually shoot, it was on JPEG. Uh, I accidentally set it to JPEG. So there's the preset, a bit warm, so I'm gonna lower the temperature. And then just increase the highlight, and I'm done. And the final image I'm going to show you was taken once again on my Nikon D750, but in raw format. When I put the preset over it, the colors are a bit muted. Um, it's a little more pastel, not really my style, but you can work with it this way. Uh, I'm going to first increase the temperature because it was sunset, so I want the color of the sand in the sky to be warmer. Um, I'll come down and increase the luminance so it's brighter and maybe just increase the yellows a tad bit so it feels a little warmer as well. And that's it. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to email me at theloveliescapist at gmail.com. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe or check out some other tutorials.